All right, so I had a few people asking uh, when the files were going to be available for uh, my dust boot, um, and I am making them available, but with that, I wanted to just kind of go over the assembly, uh, some things to be aware of, and uh, how that's all going to work. Uh, so in the repository, there'll be a set of files, or a file, for the all-in-one, um, basically the, the gantry bracket. So I printed this on my 310 by 310 printer, and it fits fine. If you have a smaller printer, however, or you want to print it in a few parts, I did split the model um, into these parts here. So basically, you can use either one. Um, that's just fine, just depends on your printer and what you want uh, to print. The other thing is there will be a test file. Um, this is basically just a fitment uh, test to see if it's going to work with your um, mount for your spindle. So it, because of the way the dust boot is set up, it is kind of a mount dependent on how much uh, difference there is between where the dust um, tube hole is and where your spindle lives. Uh, so you'll definitely want to print that out so that you can check fitment and see how things go. So you'll need that. So you'll need the bracket and you'll need the fitment file. Um, I'll link to what I use, but these are six millimeter aluminum rods. Um, you'll need two of these at least. Uh, like I said, I linked uh, to the ones I've used. A uh, few things you will need, um, some M5 by 25 or 30 mil uh, screws. So these need to be able to fit into uh, this recess. So they basically fit in here. It is a bit of a tight fit, um, but yeah, they drop into here and then feed through and bolt into the gantry plate. Uh, if we can see that, yeah, there we go, into the gantry plate here. Okay, so you need four of those. You'll need a couple heat set inserts, uh, two M3 heat set inserts, one on this side. I've got a screw in here, but one on this side. And this is just to hold the rods in place. And then of course you'll need some M3 by uh, 30 screws to go through here. Uh, and that will just pinch into the rod uh, to keep it from falling once you set the dust boot height. Okay. Um, and then you need a couple of M3 by eight ish screws and these screws thread into here and basically they are in place to hold the rods to the dust boot. So the rods go into the dust boot top piece and go in there. Okay. Uh, so for the dust boot, there's three uh, besides the test fitment piece, there'll be three files. There's the top boot, the bottom section, and then the bristle. And those are all held together by um, four, six millimeter by four millimeter uh, magnets. So you'll need a bunch of these guys to put it together. Um, I haven't put them all in. Um, I've just kind of made sure they test fit and work. Um, I would recommend printing a small sample just to make sure that uh, the magnets actually fit. Um, I'll maybe fix that. Yeah, I'll do that on the test file. I'll print it so that the test file has room for the magnets so you can get them get them out. Um, but I do recommend testing the magnets just because all the printers are a little bit different, uh, but make sure that the magnets fit that you get as well. So for the assembly, um, if you're using the single piece bracket, uh, basically you just have the bracket and you'll bolt it to the machine. Um, if you have the multi-piece bracket, um, basically what you're going to end up doing is just sliding the two pieces together, making sure that the screw holes are on the outside. Um, if you did print with supports, uh, you do just need to make sure that uh, the supports are cleaned up, which I had a small issue with there. And then just that the, the screws you have will slide into that hole. Now I do also recommend having a pretty long Allen key um, for the um, M5 screws. Unfortunately, the way that I've designed it, and if somebody's got a better idea, that's perfectly, that would be great. Um, but basically 
when I put, I'll just do it here. So when I put these in, the to get the Allen key in is a little bit tricky. So it goes on quite an angle. Um, it just fits in that little groove on the bracket itself and screws in, but it is a pretty um, tight quarters fit for the Allen key. Uh, and if you have a longer one, it just makes that that much easier to get the Allen key in uh, to get those turns. So okay, so snug that up. Again, you want it to be snug, but you don't need to, uh, yeah, make sure you don't crush the print. Um, obviously, you don't want to do that, um, but just make sure those screws are nice and snug. Sure, there's no support material left in there. There we go. And I'll just do the same on the other side here. So then the um, bracket here slides into the recesses on the arms. Now I would suggest, I'm not going to for right now, but I would suggest super gluing um, that in place when you're ready. So dry fit everything, make sure it's happy, uh, but I would definitely suggest using uh, super glue to lock that in place before you use it for real. You'll then take the M3 by 30 screws um, and one on either side in the threaded inserts. And they sink pretty much all the way. Um, there's just a little bit of the screw that sticks in uh, to the hole to secure the, uh, the rod. So just double check that the hole is unob unobstructed at first. And then you'll turn the screw in just to snug up that that rod. So right now what I'll do is I'll take the fitment piece. I'll put this through in my spindle and make sure they're in the right spot. I'm just going to make sure that when I put the rods in place, and I bring it up and down, that everything lines up. So I'm looking for the basically the hose, uh, the tube hole, and the spindle to line up without any friction. And if I have that, then great. If I don't, then maybe I need to adjust my bracket or a need reach out to me, and I can try and print a different size dust boot. Um, to test with because if this doesn't fit then when you print the full dust boot it's not going to fit either so in my case I know that it fits I'm just going to tighten this a little bit to keep those rods from falling so in the files there's going to be two different dust boots one file is if you're using a sane smart um, or a fox alien or something similar um, to this bracket here. So this is my current spindle bracket. If you're using something similar, it should be just fine. Um, I also put a file for this bracket. I didn't rip out my spindle and test with it, um, but I did take measurements using um, this bracket. So hopefully it fits. If not, let me know. 
uh, but definitely check the test fit file first uh, before you print the full boot. Um, so once you have the boot, you're going to insert the rods here. Make sure that they bottom out. So if that's easiest done by loosening these up, letting that drop, and then just pushing these all the way down so they bottom out. Then you'll take your M3 by eight screws and one on either side. And again, just snug enough to secure that rod. It doesn't have to be deathly um, screwed in there. You'll strip out the plastic well before you uh, really dent the rod. If you wanted to, you probably could make a flat spot on the aluminum rod to index. I didn't bother. Um, the hole is reasonably snug and then the screws just are that added um, security. So if you really wanted to uh, make sure they don't move, you could make a flat spot on the rod and then screw the screw onto the flat spot. But in my case, I'm just going to snug that up. Now I can move this up. Again, I can make sure that it fits, which it does. Because again, my test file worked. And I'm just going to secure this slightly. Okay, so then you make sure you insert your um, various magnets as needed once you have it there. And then this just goes over top. And then you have the bristles one. So I do have a file for making bristles. So if you don't have your own bristles to fit in the channel, um, I do have a file that you can print them out of TPU in various uh, sizes, lengths, um, uh, lengths, I guess, and, and heights. There we go. Um, you can either glue them in place or make them pressure fit enough. Uh, but this is the bristle piece. And then that goes on there. Okay, so that is the assembly of the dust boot. Um, yeah, if there's any questions, like I said, fitment wise, stuff like that, let me know. I imagine there's going to be a few different versions required uh, based on the number of different mounts and stuff out there. Um, and definitely if there's any improvements and feedback uh, for improvements, let me know. Um, and then, sorry, the last piece I didn't talk about was this is uh, two and a half inch uh, dust piping. So you can find it most local, uh, like shop, like um, Lee Valley, uh, Busy Bee Tools, things like that, uh, carries this stuff. And uh, it just friction fits into here. You could add a bit of glue or a bit of tape if you wanted. Um, and then I just have my dust hose that sits on top and secures to that. So now when I loosen up the screws, I can, if I get the hose loosened, I can now raise and lower the dust boot independent of the z-axis, secure it, uh, set it to my stock height, and then secure the screws on the side that in turn secure the rods and the dust boot height. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Um, hopefully that all made some sense. And I look forward to any feedback or um, kudos if it works well for you. Thanks a lot.